he come to our rhino screens again, if, if he captured this with scale 1, I think it will make things work. So let's check it now. Uh, not this one. Okay, maybe Climax Studio Basics. Yeah. So you see, it's quite okay and it's working right now. So the next thing that I wanted to do, as I said, is to come up with... Um, to come up with uh, windrows and I come over to CS workflow site analysis and click on windrows. and when we click on the windrows it's automatically maybe I switch back to perspective again okay. and switch back to perspective again it's really slow small now so if I increase this I still don't see much of a change in our uh, in our windrows. However, when I come over to these locations, you see we are seeing a lot of things. So, for instance, it says the direction, the angle is uh, 350, and light breeze ranging from 1.6 to 3.4 meters per second and in total it's like 298 hours per year so you see it's calm light air light breeze and this is kind of the uh, this is kind of the this is kind of the legend and if I if you zoom in here if you take a closer look we if you create if you click on this you can change the colors so if you remember yesterday we have a color something similar to this one and if I click to show 3d windrows you see we see windrows but it's pretty pretty small so if I make the inner radius 500 and outer radius 1000 now we started to see everything that we are looking here as here and if we change this what we are seeing is the resolution so it's basically the divisions, right? Angle divisions here. We can make it smaller, we can make it larger. It's again completely up to you how you want to show it. And you can change the position of it, right? It's automatically put into zero, but you can change it. And when you change this, you make a change on the uh, 3D windrows here as well. So, but one good thing related with this uh, windrows, we can change a lot of things. So we can make this ranging in between different dates. Okay. And when I click different, different hours and ranging between different speeds as well, if you want to. Changing relative humidity that also changes the speed and like you can play around with everything that you see here but we can make it like we can take a look at it in the annual manner but obviously you can take the wind speed on a particular week let's say you see it's changed and you can say use UTCI instead of dry bulb temperature because we are changing the temperature here but we can change the UTCI meaning um, user thermal comfort index in the universal sorry universal thermal comfort index if I'm not mistaken and you can change that based on that as well uh, by with this being said what we can do also is to grab this information Oh, by the way, you can see that entire year, whole year, whole day, home, like starting from zero and ranging from zero to 17.2 meter per square per second. And again, if you change this, you can change the gradient as well. And if you click on this, you can make this. But hold on, it's not too large. So when you click on this, you can make it, make the, the height can be 800 as well. But let's put it this way. But 
it's now going off so maybe make it a bit smaller and we can say all right but the white is not very visible here so maybe we change it to turbo as well um me just zooming it a bit to be helpful but you know i don't like this color too either so inferno maybe Okay, this looks better anyways you can decide on this as well so i can export this to my location i have studio basics windrows png and then i can take another look with the previous one or the one that i already have alongside with my uh sun path and see what we're gonna have when we click on this Oh, it looks okay it looks fine the preview was a bit off but this looks really okay for now and that is pretty much it for this video we have accomplished we've created this a windrows by using climate studio so stay tuned for the next one